It is August 13th, 2020. Thank you for watching the Calvary Briefing today. If all goes according to plan, I will be in lovely Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes, celebrating my father's 90th birthday. And uh, so I'm excited about that, and I'm excited that this Sunday, Jody Nelson will be preaching. And during the summer months here at Calvary, uh, we've been blessed because we have a number of people who can expound the Word of God and bring it to us. And so Jody's going to be preaching this week, and you will want to be here to hear that if you can. Uh, if not, it will, as always, be live streamed. And if you are planning on being here, please call in as soon as possible today before 2 o'clock to make sure that we know you're coming. If you have kids, we even have options for them if they are ages 2 through 12 outside during the worship celebration. So you won't want to miss this Sunday. Please let us know if you are coming. Mike Emlett is a guy that I've read for a number of years, and recently he wrote about the fact that love is inconvenient. We talk a lot about love. We deal with love in our personal lives. But it's important for us to actually speak truth about love. And the fact is that love is inconvenient. Jesus knows our hearts, and he sort of turns our own selfishness and our self-interest upside down. And in Matthew 7, verse 12, he said, Whatever you wish that others would do for you, do it also to them. And so Jesus makes sure that we know that we want to be treated with love, and it's important for us then to treat others with love. But treating others in the way we want to be treated is usually inconvenient. Here's some examples. It's inconvenient to stop working and listen to your five-year-old tell a story about something that they just discovered in the backyard. It's inconvenient to help your wife or your husband with the dishes when you just want to relax. It's inconvenient to hold your tongue and listen to a friend tell a rather long story. It's inconvenient to take the time early in the morning to sp pray specifically for individual family members. It's inconvenient to respond in a timely way to an email from a friend who needs encouragement. It's inconvenient when you're a part of the majority culture, as I am, to grapple with the fact of racial injustice. Yet, Inconvenience is the way of love. It is inconvenient to love, but it is important to remember that this is what God calls us to. But how? How do we build this practice into our lives? Well, Paul in the book of Philippians tells us that Jesus is our model, who, though he was born in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself and took the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Jesus leads us in the way of inconvenient loving. He shows us that it is possible and we can look to him Knowing that He lives in us, we then can follow His example, and He gives us the strength to do that. Uh, earlier in Philippians, Paul writes this, If there's any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look 
not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. What will help us to do this? What will help us to turn from selfish ambition? What allows us to embrace humility? It's our relationship with Jesus. We're encouraged and comforted by Him and by His love. We are empowered by the Holy Spirit. Love builds up within us. And we, as we consider the one who showed us love, we then give up everything to love others. Love is really inconvenient. And during times when we've been shut up inside our homes with the same group of people, or when we're shut up in the same office with the same group of people, when we have to wear masks and our communication has not been what it once was, it's tough. But even though love is inconvenient, we love because He first loved us. 1 John 4.19 Have a great week.